हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स इन आर टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स वेदर क्लाइमेट एंड एडाप्टेशन एंड दिस चैप्टर इज मेन फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट वर्क दैट मीन्स यू पीपल डोंट हैव टू राइट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इन योर फेयर नोटबुक ओके so let us learn about weather you might have heard cricket commentary before the game starts the experts discuss the weather in the newspaper we can easily we can see daily weather reports that give information about temperature humidity and rainfall during the past 24 hours daily weather predictions and reports are shown on the tv and newspaper the weather reports are prepared by meteorological department of the government many of our daily activities are planned based on the weather predicted for that day now what is weather collect the weather report of last week from any newspaper then draw a table with six columns and eight rows and name each column in the first row as date maximum temperature minimum temperature maximum humidity minimum humidity and rainfall respectively now fill all the row with the information provided in the weather reports of newspaper now let us analyze the data updated in the table the maximum and minimum temperature recorded may be the same for some of the days however all the parameters cannot be same for any two days over a week there may be considerable variation the day to day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature humidity rainfall wind speed etc is called the weather at that place and the temperature humidity and other factors are called elements of the weather the maximum and minimum temperature are recorded by using special thermometers called maximum and minimum thermometers all changes in the weather are caused by the sun we experience maximum temperature of the day in the afternoon while the minimum temperature occurs in the early morning now next we have to study about climate the average weather pattern taken over a long time for about 25 years is called the climate of the place if we find that the temperature at a place is high for most of the time then we can say that the climate of that place is hot if there is heavy rainfall for most of the days at same place then we can say that the climate of that place is hot and wet next we have to discuss adaptation shown by animals living in polar regions for example polar bears penguins siberian crane so let's begin with first polar bear first is the polar bear's fur serves two purposes it is double layered to provide extra warmth and is white color to provide camouflage in the snow camouflage means due to their white color fur they are not visible to their predators so that they can protect themselves from the predators second point is a thick layer of fat under its skin insulate the polar bear's body and keeps it warm third point is the polar bear has large white paws which help it to swim and catch fish also polar bears has long sharp claws that help it to walk on ice next is the polar bear is able to close its nostrils and stay under water for a long time the nose is also very sensitive and that's why polar bears can smell prey from far 
these are the adaptive features that polar bears are having and due to these features they are able to live in polar regions so we are having penguins penguins are flightless birds their white color merges well with the white snow covered habitat they live in also penguins have thick skin and a lot of fat under it which protects them from cold they generally remain huddled together so as to keep themselves warm also penguins are good swimmers their bodies are streamlined and fit have webs which enable them to swim these are the adaptive features of penguins that helps them to live in polar regions see next we are having siberian cranes so students birds have feathers to protect their bodies from cold however due to extreme cold conditions in polar regions most of the birds migrate to warmer regions during winters many birds come to india for example the siberian crane that you are seeing comes from siberia to places like bharatpur in rajasthan sultanpur in haryana wetlands of north east etc other animals that can be found in polar regions are a variety of fish musk ox reindeers foxes whales and most of the animals in polar regions hibernate during the winter months to reduce loss of heat from the body next we have to discuss adaptation shown by animals living in deserts for example camel which is also known as the ship of the deserts and the adaptive adaptive features that camel is having are what it has a hump where food is stored so it can stay without food for several days also it can drink a large quantity of water at a time the water gets stored in its stomach so it is able to survive what uh, without water for a long time also it sweats very little and also urinates very less this helps it to conserve water also camels are having large pads on the soles on its feet which enable it to walk comfortably on soft and hot sand next we have to discuss adaptation shown by animals in tropical rainforest so first we have to understand the meaning of tropical rainforest the tropics are categorized by hot and humid climate with summer temperature touching 40 degrees celsius and winter temperature remaining above 15 degrees celsius and being near the equator the days and nights are almost equal in length rainfall is also regular throughout the year the largest tropical rainforest are in southeast asia central america and africa in india the western ghats and assam exhibit this type of climate the tropical rainforest sport a large variety of plant and animals life and animals have developed unique adaptations to survive in this habitat now let us discuss the examples of some animals that live in tropical rainforests first example is red eyed frog red eyed frog live on trees their green color camouflages them against the leaves while the red eyes scare away enemies especially at night the frog has sticky pads on the feet which enable it to climb trees easily next we are having token bird token bird has long large beak and when the token bird wants a fruit from a branch that is too weak to support it it uses its long large beak to get to the fruits and next we are having elephants elephants are largely found in rainforest they are having following adaptations say they are having a long trunk which they use as a nose as it has a strong sense of smell the trunk is also used for picking up food they have tusk tusk means modified teeth to tear the bark of trees for food 
they also have large ears which help them to hear even very soft sounds and also help them to keep cool in the hot and humid climate of the rain forest so students this is all about our chapter weather climate and adaptations go through the content and read the chapter carefully till then goodbye have a nice day